Ah, welcome back. We're gonna do machines today, and because of that, we're gonna make some molds. Because I don't have gear molds for some reason. Okay, so we gotta take out everything but two and four, one and five, center, one and five, two and four. Alright, let's see if we can do this. So. That one, that one, and that one. And that one, that one. Looking good from that direction. So, um, one, five, center, and then ah, crap! I took out. I just missed it. Ugh. Hate when that happens. All right, corner, 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 and center. And center. Come on, hit the damn thing, center. Center. Now we get again everything on this line. And there and there. 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 That should be right. Hey, we got a gear mold. Alright, so pop the ingot mold out, put the gear mold in. Now we need to get a tiny gear or small gear. Which is two and five, or two and four, two and four, two and four, and then everything on the other ones. Don't think that one's going to, well, maybe it will. Let me look. There. Everything on this row. Nope, and it won't work. <clears throat> so we'll throw it in here and melt it down and do it later. As I actually have extra here because I expected to mess up. I'm terrible at doing these things. And let's try it again. <clears throat> so now it was everything but two and four, right? No. One, three, and five stay. So that one, that one, and then everything here, and then that one, that one. And now, uh, every 
other thing here. And then that one and that one. Small gear. All right. And we're probably not going to need the plate. So we'll put that right there. Alright, so. We're going to start with making the centrifuge because I've already got it up here. And for that, we're going to need two gears and a long rod. I went ahead and made a bunch of plates. So we'll get two gears out here. And. <clears throat> a long run. Come over here and we need quadruple plates. for a second toss these couple things in here and let's see what we got we can make a hammer out of today could make an iridium one uh, we don't have enough business bronze left Make a titanium one. Make a titanium hammerhead. And then, 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 then. I need a stick. Um, no sticks. All right. Um, give me this all back. Stick right there. Hopefully titanium hammers just take a regular wood stick. Yes, they do. Alright, so we got two quadruples. And we got two doubles. Or two triples. There we go. We got our four quadruples, two gears, and a rod in the center. Oh goodness! Now the dog's got to go out. So now we got our center fuse. Let's go ahead and go put this bad boy down. Check it out, see what kind of recipes we got in here. Uh, like I said in the update video yesterday, um, there is a lot of recipes that are missing. He's going to add them, hopefully in the next update. Um, right now we got oil sands which will give you oil and sand gravel oil sand uh, Damascus steel down to its parts steel vanadium and tungsten that's a different Damascus steel wow I'm actually gonna have to try to make that kind of weird though it's 50 Damascus steel gives you 50 steel a vanadium and a tungsten shouldn't that be uh, 52 uh, let's see 
Mumium, tin, silver, and glowstone, bronze, oil sand again, live root will give you wood pulp, and that's it. Master silver for silver, wrought iron to iron, hydrated coal to coal and water. Redstone, silicon, pyrite, and ruby, which you'll need in the electrolyzer to get chrome, aluminum, and oxygen to make the stainless steel. And you get mercury out of that as well. Let's see. Ironwood dust, you get wrought iron, live root, and agmalin. Vibranum steel, vibranum and steel. Okay, that's a new blue alloy. You get nickelite and silver. Quartz sand, you get surface quartz and quartzite. Steel dust, you get wrought iron and carbon. Red alloy, obviously. Paralyte, you get obsidian and water. More oil sand, canthal, red steel, pyrothium, black granite, you can get silicon dioxide and biotite. And then biotite, you should be able to electrolyze to get fluorine, silicon, potassium, magnesium, aluminum. Oxygen, sands. It does suck that there is no um, ashes to get carbon. That's nice. Be a nice way to get some carbon for making iron. Ultimate electron alloy. Tetrahydrate dust. Now I tried to look this up yesterday and it didn't show this. Copper, antimony, sulfur, and iron. Now if we look up tetra and we look at uses. Oh, there we go. I think I was doing the impure. And that's why, because these don't have their uses. You have to hand wash them for right now. Hopefully, they'll get in there pretty soon. But at least you can get the stuff out of there. Um, let's look up bauxite again. Make sure I hit this one. And yeah, you can electrolyze it for titanium, aluminum, oxygen, and water. So that's cool. All right. So that's our centrifuge. And remember, they have to be input from the top on those. Um, we can do a squeezer next, which needs a long rod for the spring and triple plates. All right, so there's a long rod. And we need that and hammer and bender that will make our spring and how many triple plates was it? five six so one, two, three, four, five, six one, two, three, four, five, six And our 
there's that spring and then again we're going to need the hammer and the wrench okay wrench and hammer so there's our squeezer now this one is KU so this is the one that goes with the uh, engine coming down on it this one goes right here and you can get latex out of rubber saplings out of sticky resin out of slime balls out of rubber tree leaves you can get rubber wood pulp will give you wood pulp and latex and if you had um, forestry in here, forestry four in here, you would get the uh, stuff for that. This is going to be the input. This is going to be the output. And then fluids will come out through the bottom. Come back over here and let's look up the compressor, which is going to be six more triple and another spring. And looks like we need to get some more bronze in here. that cook up and hammer there's our spring and we need twelve and six This way, I do believe. I can never get the hammer and wrench in the right place on the first time. Alright, and this should also need a engine instead of a motor. Um, which it does. And let's see. Doesn't say which side, but I'm guessing it's going to be on the side. So I think I had it set up over here. Yep, you see it's pressing. So let's cut the wire here. And we've got dense plates. Compressed coal. And we can make lapis plates again this way. Quartz plates. Phosphorus plates. Brantum. Snowballs to snow. What else do we got here? Quartz to quartz block. Nether star dust to a nether star plate. If there's a machine that needs that, then kiss my butt. Clay balls to a clay block. That's how you make your advanced alloy for IC2. Uh, crushed ice into ice. Service quartz into a service plate. Dun, dun, dun. 
that would be sandstone, yeah. For sand to sandstone, charcoal to a charcoal plate, ender eye dust to an ender eye plate, that would be an ender pearl plate, uh, ventium, yeah, we don't have that crap, uh, flint dust to a flint plate. Appetite plate. He just has every plate in the world in here, apparently. Force. So it doesn't look like anything major that we need to know about in here. Uranium. You can turn from uranium dust into the uranium-235 for IC2 instead of cooking it into the ingots for Greg Tech. Um, this has input on top, so the output's going to be on the bottom. Um, with the centrifuge, the input is on the top and the output is on the side. Um, so you have one on each side. One's going to be for fluid. This one, I do believe, is going to be your item. This one being the circle one is going to be your fluid. And supposedly you can now stop them from automatically doing it. See, auto item output disabled. Enabled. Auto fluid output disabled and enabled. And you can do the input as well. So now we got, I'm probably going to do the buzzsaw and the lathe in a separate video because they're going to need, I might do the electrolyzer as well because they're going to be a little bit different. I don't have all the stuff made up for them. Um, coagulator I got to make stainless steel for. See, squeezer compressor. Centrifuge, because the electrolyzer needs aluminum. Yeah, it's going to need aluminum, platinum, and copper. And the sawmill. It's going to need the uh, cobalt brass, so I'm going to have to make some of that. Go ahead and pour those three bronze gears out. So I got them done. And the lathe I never made. Can't believe I forgot to make this one. It's going to need a small one, a big one, a screw. So I'll go ahead and make a big one and a small one. And did I forget a machine? Coagulator, electrolyzer. Buzzsaw. See, I got one there. I got one there. I got one there. So, this is the only one that doesn't have a place or a machine. I think that's for the buzzsaw. And then the electrolyzer was going to go somewhere else. And I don't have a place set up for the lathe because, well, I didn't remember it. So, actually, I think that's going to be it for this one. It's going to be a little short, but we got those three machines done. I will go and get the stuff for the other machines ready to go. 
and we'll come back and we'll do the lathe and the uh, buzzsaw and the electrolyte. So, thanks for watching and take it easy.